Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic, and guys, welcome to 2022. This is the first episode of the season of six years doing this, guys, long time. And we are still in the Congo, we are making use of the time we have available to us, which will run into the 11th of January, which is actually just about seven, eight more days away, so... We are going to continue doing what we've been doing, one of which has been accumulating a lot of money in XP, and as you can see, I'm already about ready to level up to level 58. Started out 53 when I got here, and that's with doing Christmas at the same time. But we're going to come in here and see what we can do about finding the African tiger fish. Now we've already seen the Goliath tiger fish in quantity. Might come back and see if I can't do him again because I have, I'm still trying to get a recorded session with the unique tigerfish. I did get one. I did get one. Actually, I think I got two. No, I think I just got one. But, yeah, it is really a lot easier to do if you're on the boat, if you're at a level that I am. If I'm like a level 75, it may not be so tough, but... Let me go ahead and pull this guy up here under my name. I think he should still be there for my fish record. And there he is. Unique Goliath Tigerfish. That's the ugly cuss. I don't know how he rates as far as size goes, but he was actually not too hard to pull in out from the boat. But you got to take the anchor up. Let them wear themselves out. That's the that's the technique. Same thing I used with the bull sharks and the arapaimas. Now, I am out here in the middle of the falls area, and some of my buddies had provided me with some locations. This is the only one I could that I think I received for the unique African tigerfish. Now I did catch them over here one or two and I caught some over on this side of things but I didn't mark it so that was kind of stupid honestly. <laughs> did get the comic and apparently you can get tigerfish there, the Goliaths as well. Oh, I want to try to get the African tigerfish. Not quite as big as the Goliath but I need it for a mission and we can also see if we can't get one of these African sharp tooth catfish we have caught this on screen but I'd like to see if I can't get a unique one so I've got a marker here and I've got a marker here and I place myself strategically right about in the center so that we can see what we can do about catching these guys now this one was caught if I'm not mistaken off a flat spoon which I don't even know if I have access to yet, guys, honestly. I can take the shop here and look at the lures. Let's see, we've got spoons and spinners. Let's just... Okay, they are here. Apparently they really go for these. I don't have one, though. Not a single one, and I don't even think I have the ability without gold to buy one until I'm a level 71. Hmm. But I have a feeling that's what I'm going to need. When you know it. Probably about this size too. One and one half ounce. Might have to break down and get one. Just might have to. Yeah. Well let's try. If we're going to spend that much of my, our bay coins. Might as well get one. That I know is going to work. Let's grab this one. One and a half ounce. Yeah, I don't like to use my bait coins unless I absolutely have to because they're so expensive and so hard to get. Alright, let's see. We are in the low part of the peak, so we need to briefly take a look at the map here, guys. We need to move forward to 7 p.m. if we're going to catch anything. I'm not saying we won't catch catfish, but... I'd rather have something happen. 
Plus, we're going to have some major peaks in the evening. So let's go ahead and move forward. Now, I think I have that. Do I have that mission tracking? No, I don't. I thought I did. That's weird. Well, let's put the Congo trial on. That's the one I need. It's the last one I need for this. I've cut all these others. And of course I didn't have the mission up when I caught my first few, so now that I need to catch one, I'm not catching one. <laughs> That's the way it works. Alright, we're going to throw some chicken liver out here and see if we can't scare up a unique sharp tooth. Maybe. And I'm going to go ahead and I think it's this one, first one, yeah. And, oh shoot, I forgot. I need to lift the anchor. Alright. Yeah, lifting the anchor is very important. You can't catch them, but you're going to be fighting them a lot harder. I figure this is good time as any to try that flat spoon. Now I have a seriously major rod here, the Tropicana, and I've been catching the Goliaths with it, so I figured I might as well give it a try with this flat spoon. I was wondering why I couldn't find it. I didn't realize it was only 70 or above, but looks like I can get a pretty good cast with it right over that spot honestly now the person that sent it to me caught this guy in the early morning I don't know if that's gonna be their prime time or their evening fish too I guess we'll find out because honestly early mornings when I caught them as well Let me go ahead and throw out my other bottom rod that I have here. I'm going to use the small tilapia. I'm going to cast it over there too, just in case they decide they want to go for the line bait. Just keep at this, see if these guys get any interest. There it goes. Nope, wrong one. This could be just about anything, honestly. Now you'll watch this boat be pulled. Look at that. Now whatever it is is big enough to drag this boat around. And that's not a small boat. There we go. We got an African sharp tooth. It's not a unique, but... It's the first one of the night. Now, I don't know if I got a picture of this guy or not last time, but that's that's regular size right there, guys. So we're talking we want a unique. He's gonna be a monster. He's 39 pounds. And we'll keep him. Seeing some activity on this one now, I think. Yep. And here goes the boat. 
<laughs> okay, this is a big fish. Because now as you're dragging the boat, he is still taking it out. This is a 88 pound test rod with 87 pound test line. Sorry about my dog guys. I don't know what his problem is but I think we got us another cat. It's a combo. Yeah these guys get big too. Now you have seen those as well as in the very first episode. Doesn't take long to fill our nets, that's for darn sure. Now the one thing I have discovered with this particular map is that it's really hard to find a good fishing spot because they all seem to be good fishing spots, honestly. It's like the catfish are every darn place you go. actually just you throw your line in, in the water and you're gonna catch something it's it's not hard not hard at all let's go ahead and get ourselves repositioned because they drug us all over that lake and there is a fish right below us that is huge Shit, see what I mean right in front of us he's swimming around there close to shore try to reposition myself back where I was sometimes turning that's the only thing this boat is not very maneuverable alright I usually just use the anchor just to stop myself quickly Okay. All right, guys, I had to finagle the boat a little bit. It's a little bit too close to the rocks. But I went ahead and pulled the anchor so that we won't float off too much. Actually, I think I might try something else here. See we got bait wise here that we can try. We've got the chicken liver. Let's try the buffalo kidneys. Wait a minute, no, let's try the large liver. I didn't see that before. I didn't think I had it. We'll continue using these. Well, we might try these African water bugs later on, too. Actually, yeah, let's try the African water bugs. I can find them again. Here it is. Let's just mix it up a little bit. This is what the last African sharp tooth cat was caught with. Let's 
Well, let's just see what, what a water bug is going to catch. Let's try our flat spoon again. I'm determined to get this darn African tiger fish. Whoa! Oh, it's snagged. Which one's... Oh, okay. I always get these mixed up. Okay, this is an 8 aught cap and hook so this could at least be common I would hope <laughs> let's see here guys let's see what we got oh he doesn't want to come Yeah, because the boat, even though he can pull it around, it'll only do so much. There we go. We got him. It's just another regular one. Okay, which one? Okay, it's still the same one. Let's try it right here. Ah, it looks like we've got one here. Another cat, most likely. Good God! It's doing to my rod. Yeah, there was quite a bit of pause there for a while. I was starting to think that they had given up. At least for a bit. There we go. I think it's another combo, guys. Yep. 102 pounds. Jeez, I can't even imagine what a unique must be like. Well, we're going to keep at it. Actually, let's do this. Let's do this, guys. If we're going to catch him, we might as well catch him. put the biggest hook we have captain hook size 14 we're talking sea tackle here we're gonna get him might as well get him and it is very very deep here 30 feet to be exact Not getting anything off the water bugs. But I think I'm already getting a bite off of that. I think I'm gonna switch the hook here too. On this one I am going to use canned meat.
Oh, there it goes again. I keep getting mixed up. It's easy to do. Here he comes. Sorry about my dog, guys. Seems like only when I record he decides he wants to do that. Yes, the bark and fish are back. Jeez, this guy is really giving me a tough time. He's drug me all the way over here. I have no idea where he's taking me. <laughs> taking me for a ride. There is an actual achievement you can get for a certain number of meters being drugged by a fish in your boat. I forget how much it takes, but I don't know if it's consecutive. Oh, wow, he is really giving me a time here. Come on, big guy. Well, he's a trophy. That, I'll, I'll take that. New personal record. African sharp tooth catfish. Now well, they're definitely over there. It's just a matter of time to find the unique, but I'm happy with this. This is a personal best so far. Let's take a look at this guy. Oh, man. That's a big fish. Yeah, that's a big fish. 81 pounds. That's a good shot, actually. Very good shot. I'm going to definitely take a snapshot of that. There we go, guys. Well, we are pushing our time here guys we just got to use our first day here of the new year at the Congo still got quite a few more days to work it but we need to make the most of it anyway guys I'm gonna go on and work at it and if I catch anything big I will take a picture and let you take a look at him but anyway guys as I always say aim straight cast far and have fun and I will see you later Bye-bye.